everybody. Welcome back to the Global Capital Network Expo 2024. I am here with Frank Carbone. That is a name, that is a name that is very easy to remember because it sounds very... Mafia? It's <laughs> exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> very much, any relation? No, and uh, I would have to say that if I was connected, I wouldn't be here trying to raise money, would I? <laughs> oh, so that's what you're doing. What okay. Doing. Well, there's no sense and let's just jump on straight in. So what brings you here today, Frank? So, so yes. Yeah. Uh, I've been at, uh, Josh is a great friend of mine and he does an excellent job here and I appreciate his uh, invitation. And um, so yeah, we have a booth this time. And um, so yeah, I created a company that has developed an automated cargo system for vehicles that enables you to load stuff onto the top of your vehicle or into your vehicle in a matter of seconds, single-handedly with the push of a button. Okay, tell me, tell me more. So think about what it takes to load stuff into. Um, okay, so let's take let's let's grab a scenario. Okay. okay, me being a filmmaker, I'm a documentary filmmaker. Sometimes I just have an insane amount of gear that I am loading up that takes me the better part of 40 minutes to get loaded in and on the car. So how would that help? And what kind of car do you have? Well, I have a Maz Mazda CX-5. That's It's probably a little bit small for what okay. you're talking no, about. But that's but, great. Yeah. Actually, smaller cars, this is actually more useful because smaller cars have left space less space in the car, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine you have this box on top of your car. It lifts up sort of like a dump truck. Tray, the door opens up, a tray comes out with a conveyor on it, right down to your waist height, and you can just put stuff on there and it loads it right back up, and closes up and goes back down all in 15 or 20 seconds. Wow. In fact, even somebody in a wheelchair, seriously, somebody in a wheelchair could load this by themselves. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have other versions of this like for pickup trucks, which are much sturdier, like the wheels, it comes, it wheels, the tray comes out, wheels drop down to the ground like an airplane landing gear, the tray tilts all the way down to the ground, a winch comes out and pulls the stuff into your vehicle, 300, 500 pounds, by yourself, so it's a, it's a beautiful system. Is it heavy? No, it's uh, the one that sits on top of the vehicles is about 70 pounds. The ones that's inside the vehicle, like in a pickup truck, is heavier, but it handles a lot more weight, and it doesn't matter because it's in the it's in the bed of a pickup truck. Sure. sure. It sounds like that could be like an I could see Amazon delivery drivers with that. Well, you know we are. I don't want to talk about patents that are in process right now. Okay. We already have four patents, three in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, one in Europe um, that cover uh, our rooftop product, cover our pickup version, and cover our um, airport shuttle version, which is also very cool because it, um, it sits on top of a van, it tilts to the side, mm -hmm. and it has multiple trays so that people can load stuff uh, at the airport and take it right to their hotel. It's very cool. That's crazy. That sounds awesome. I mean, you know, especially looking after your back, looking after your body, the constant carrying and lifting, and pu especially putting in and out of cars. I think that even, you know, as a filmmaker for me, like Pelican cases, push, it's the angle that you're trying to push stuff all the way through. Well, you know, it's funny. You mentioned Pelican cases on our, on our website robocargo.com mm -hmm. on Thank our webs you. I'm sorry Thank you for the plug Yes on our website we um, show a uh, a bunch of pelican cases in a mm. being loaded into a Ford Bronco <laughs> So yeah I mean the pelican cases is 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 a perfect example of because pelican cases they tend to be heavy right there's a lot of stuff yeah. in them 
Pelican, yeah. Pelican make these, you know, super light cases. They call them super light cases. But by the time you've just loaded, you know, your 10 pounds of camera in there, your six pounds of lens in there and everything else, and the weight of the case and the, everything packing it in. Yeah. yeah, I think it's, I think <laughs> this is, I think this is revolutionary really. And maybe not quite revolutionary, but it's, we're reinventing how people load and unload stuff from their vehicles both individually, like as consumers, and really more importantly, as businesses, because we think that businesses like that run fleets of vehicles, construction, heavy equipment, heavy stuff, they're gonna save as much on workers' comp as they will cost them to put our system in their vehicles. But also the time factor. And the time, the time factor is huge, and also, making the utilization of that space more efficient because if you see most construction people and you see the the um the state of their vehicles <laughs> they just throw all their stuff in the back of the vehicle and they're lifting stuff up trying to figure out where something is and, you know yep. a month later they discover that that three thousand dollar tool is not here anymore and where so they, they go, go and buy another one right no that <laughs> it's a big thing yeah. especially for businesses yeah. so yeah we're pretty excited about that wow. aspect of it as well so how has this been for you here today so we we've, we've seen a lot of interested people mm -hmm. um and you know you don't know until you get you do the follow-up but there's been right. some really good interaction we had this we had a we set up a booth and we had a uh a looping video with all of our vehicles with the different platforms mm -hmm. automated uh, showing the loading and unloading and just watching people's eyes light up and say, oh, wow, that's, that's fun. It's fun to see that. You know what's funny, Frank, is you, you talk about something like that, and I think I saw it. You're in that room over there, right? Yes. Yeah, right. yeah. Um, on the right-hand side, I think I saw it. it was a green truck because right, I was yeah. looking. Yeah. That was the Bronco. I have my head over someone's shoulder listening. Um, it seems like such a simple idea. I know. You know, that's a funny thing, because I'm, a, I'm an aerospace engineer and I'm an inventor. Oh, wow. Okay. I've done this stuff for many years, but here's what's interesting about inventing. Sometimes you think you come up with the most clever thing in the world and you're so freaking smart. Mm -hmm. And then you go on the patent site, USPTO, and you see that there's 10 other people that have already thunk of it before you did. But not this but, one. On the other hand, mm -hmm. sometimes you think of something like this thing, mm -hmm. which like you say, it's kind of obvious. And when I first thought of it, and actually it was my daughter that thought, pointed it out to me. I was picking her up from uh, college. She was coming back from Vanderbilt for a winter break. And we were stuck on the freeway on Nashville. the 405. Oh, no, Vanderbilt. Well, I thought you meant Nashville. Well yeah, well, yeah, she was going to Vanderbilt. She was oh, coming from Nashville right. to LAX. So I pick her up, and we're on the freeway on the 405, or the 405, as some people say, right? And we were going four or five miles an hour. And, you know, you go up a little four bit, five, and you yeah. stop. And anyway, this guy was next to us, and he had one of those boxes on top of his SUV. And so I pull up, he pulls up, and my daughter glances over a couple times, and she says to me, because she knows what I do for a living, and she said, Dad, those things are so stupid, you ought to automate that. And that's all it took. That's all so it took, so. She has quite a large share hole in this whole project. Well, we're not going. <laughs> <laughs> Did she pay you to say that? No, I actually, I've, well, she's actually contributed to the patents and she's named on all of our patents. Nice. She actually is a software, you, she's a software engineer. Well, you have to recognize people that contributed yeah. to the idea. It's, yeah. you're obligated to do that legally, actually, mm -hmm. actually in patents. A lot of people don't know that, but yeah, so, but, and also I was happy ethically. and I was happy to do that, yeah. of course. So of course. yeah, if you, if you Google our patents, you'll see. Dominique Carbone on the patents as well as Frank Carbone. Nice. That's awesome, Frank. Yeah, I'm excited about it. And, and I think that this is going to really help businesses mm -hmm. and help individuals um, 
have a better experience with their vehicles. And especially, by the way, as we get older, you know, it's uh, lifting things on top of the your car, climbing on a ladder, but lifting things in the back of your vehicle. You know, our bodies were really not designed. They were not, as an engineer, I can say this, our bodies are not really engineered to take those kind of loads. That's why 40% of workers' comp cl claims are our lower back claims. Yep, yep, and I so. think it's all like, uh, what do they call it? Um, I have two of them now. Uh, compressed discs. Right, some, right. Some weird thing. So yeah, I think it's gonna be fun, and I think uh, I'm excited to be able to deliver a product to the general marketplace, because most of what I've done in my life is I've been an aerospace engineer working on secret stuff that, you know, oh, nobody exciting. gets. exciting. It's exciting, but I don't get to tell anybody about yeah. any of that stuff, so it's not exciting. It's it's frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did you work on yeah. today? Oh, I can't tell Oh, it was you. incredible, but I can't tell you. Yeah, no. Oh, they'll cut my you know what off. <laughs> Thank you for coming up here and Thank you sharing all of that. I because it. I really appreciate well, it. Well, when this thing is launched, I'm going to come knocking at your door for a discount on Absolutely. But I'll buy a more worthy car <laughs> for it. Well, I don't know that. No, I mean, you can put it on a, well, we're, we're, we're pitching the OEMs like Ford, General Motors, those kind yeah. of guys, to sell it perhaps on an exclusive basis for a while. Um, because we think that this product can actually be the discriminating factor on whether you're buying, uh, you know, SUV A or SUV B. Because if SUV A, you're able to buy this product and not SUV B, you just might buy this, you just might buy SUV A. Well, that's our pitch to the yeah. Fords and the GMs of the world. Anyway. Well, it looks at all the people that nobody wants to load that shit in the back. That stuff. I'm sorry. Nobody wants to load that stuff in the back of the... I mean, it's true. Honestly, nobody wants to be loading all the heavy stuff. I, I mean, I've got no problem doing what I do, but sometimes I, I am falling in the back of the car going, oh, my God, trying to pull the case out well, from you know, the back case. The thing is, all it takes is one little bad move, a little mm -hmm. bad twist, and now all of a sudden you've got a back problem. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, if you if you can do that with the push of a button, why wouldn't you? Of course. No, I think it's brilliant. Well, thank you. It's brilliant. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate it. I think your daughter is brilliant too. Well, I don't want to brag, but they say the apple doesn't fall well, too far, far from, from the, the tree. tree. <laughs> but she's a wonderful girl and I'm very proud of her. Awesome, thank you. You guys will be seeing more of Frank, I'm sure. Thank you for joining us. Um, we are gonna be right back with uh, another interesting story.